Oh, thank you for visiting this Sunday. Did you learn something? Praise God. Well, hey, listen, I got a uh, 2 o'clock appointment, and they're here now. Uh, let me call you back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, come on in. Uh, well, I see you helped yourself, or Miss Jennifer helped you with her coffee, so come on in and we can discuss whatever it is you want to talk to me about. <clears throat> well, apparently you want to talk to me about something, so the floor is yours. Maybe we should begin with a word of prayer. Pastor Danny, enough is enough. What's enough? You know. I haven't the slightest idea what you mean. We mean your latest series, Pastor. From this past Sunday? Yeah. Yes, you know, your sermon on tithing and first of the fruits and such. The Authority of Money series. Yes, and frankly, Pastor, we think you're preaching to the choir. Amen. Amen. Well, unapologetically, my responsibilities and duty as a pastor of this church is to inform our members about tithing and giving. We know obedience, the tenth, responsibility. Yeah, we've heard it all before. It's old-fashioned and unfair. Well, it's more of an act of obedience than anything. I mean, how are we supposed to finance the operation of our church if we don't all tithe and give? Well, I'm glad you asked. That's why we're all here. Wanda, Hilda, Jerry, and I have come up with a plan to do away with tithe. Here it is. What's this? It's the church fee program. Instead of tithing, our members will be charged fees. Fees for what? For the use of the church and its ministries? Each member would be charged for what he or she personally uses and nothing more. Frankly, we're tired of funding ministries that don't even benefit us. You'll see fees for parking in the church parking lot. Some of us walk to church. You'll see the pew rental fee and the hymnal fee. We've created an altar call toll that must be paid by each member who feels the need to go forward during altar call. And, Pastor, you'll pay a monthly retainer fee to have a deacon on call for each household. Then there are the hospitality fees for the use of the styrofoam cups, napkins, creamer, and sweet and low. And if your name ever appears on any sort of prayer list, you'll be charged the remembered in prayer fee. And if you're in a Bible study group, you'll be charged the end the word fee. And if anyone schedules a meeting with you, Pastor, they'll be charged the shepherd's fee. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound scriptural at all. We also have a good Samaritan fee. That's for anyone who's sick and is visited by church staff. And the Samuel fee for baby dedication. And let's not forget the Lazarus fee for funerals. Mm. We should not have to pay for someone else's passing. We also have an upper room fee. That's for anyone who partakes in communion. Pastor, the cost of those plastic cups and those crackers, they're not cheap. Amen. All I can say is you got to be kidding me. Uh, and how do you intend to take care of the church staff and their salaries? I'm glad you asked. Hilda, each pastor on staff will have his or her picture hung in the front of the lobby of the church. Each photo will have a money pouch hanging from it. If a church member feels that a particular staff member has blessed them, they should put money in the pouch. Why should we fund a staff member that doesn't even affect our lives? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Uh, whether it's a good idea or not, it's not the scriptural way God has asked us to give. God has commanded a tent. It's not my idea, it's his. Look, Pastor, we prayed about this. Really? We even came in 30 minutes early. We came in and we sat in the sanctuary and we knelt down and we prayed at the altar. We prayed over this church fee program. And we believe everyone in our fellowship would be much happier with a giving program like this. So, you think you would like it this way? We would like to free ourselves from the archaic practice of tithing. I guess we could give it a try. Uh, when would you like this to begin? As soon as possible. Okay, well, for the record, I am totally against this. And as your pastor, I answer to God before I answer to you. But in this instance, I guess we could give it a try. We hope you see it our way. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you go, uh, we need to settle up. Settle, settle up? up. Well, if you're going to start this new church fee program, there's no better time than the present. What's going on here? Sit down, sit down. <clears throat> let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, apparently, you drove here to church and used the parking lot. Um, you sat in the sanctuary pews. You went to the altar to pray, apparently. Um, so that would fall into the altar toll. Um, I see you saw, helped yourself to some coffee. So there's the hospitality fee right there. Um, you met with me, your pastor, so there's $25 shepherd's fee right there. Um, you each shared, so there's your sharing testimony. Uh, just, just oh, just a minute there, Pastor. Oh, 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 let me see. 
total comes to divided by four. Okay, for today's visit, you each owe four hundred and sixty-three dollars and seventy-seven cents. Hey, man, shut up, on Shanda. Woo! Uh, I'll see y'all this Sunday for uh, the face series, correct? Wasn't my idea of Jerry. Uh, no, it wasn't. Nice try, Frank.